How you doing? Hey. How you doing, people? Anyway, <clears throat> hey, I, I, I mean this, uh, I wasn't even going to do this live tonight, I'm, I'm sick, I have a high fever, uh, but you know, some people wouldn't understand it, others will, but at the end of the day, ain't no fever, Sucker, that's gonna keep me from bringing the truth. Hey, always speak the truth, always. So you know it don't matter. We show up, rain, snow, storm, whatever it is. And now that we're talking about it, give me a sec, give me a hand. Como usted puede escuchar, mi padre. Estoy enfermo. Realmente no sabía si iba a hacer este live, boy. Porque tengo mucha fiebre. Mucha fiebre. Eh, hay personas que tal vez pensaban que yo no iba a realizar, realizar, porque es castellano, eh, este live. Hay personas que realmente le interesan que yo no haga este live, porque no quieren que la información salga. Pero no hay fiebre. Oye, ni el diablo me para. Para traerle a ustedes estas informaciones. No solamente eso. Si yo conmigo, ¿quién contra mí, no? Pero bueno, allá el incompetente con su chamananaya. <laughs> Damn, how many years made it on the, on the Spanish part of the life? Hold on a sec. Entonces, mi gente, venimos ahora. Anyway, guys, listen. There's a lot of things we're going to be discussing tonight, all right? And... <clears throat> Before anything and everything, I want to say this. I want to. I want to. I want to say thank you, right? I want to say thank you to the pe yeah, everything bothers me right now. I want to say thank you to the people that sent the the stars, right? Um, that's a way of you contributing because I need to pay for all of this, right? And, and you know we ain't gonna sell out. If not, you guys go, Mister Incompetente, El Primo. Or, or, or the other one, the, 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 the pooper intendant, because that's the new nickname for the drama queen known as David Roman. That pile of garbage, man. He sucks as a, as a, as a, as a superintendent. But, you know, um, thank you for the stars. Thank you for sharing this. Share it. Send it to people, man, because this is the only place where you're going to find the real truth. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, pup, this is a public service announcement. I don't give a damn whether I'm repetitive. I don't care if this is boring. You can always keep it moving. That's the great part about democracy. You don't have to like me. You don't have to follow me. You can just leave. Go whine and, 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 and bicker somewhere else. Trust me. I was just close to going up. But, you know, hey, it ain't never personal, right? I'm not Irvin. I ain't Hellman. I ain't Wilder. I'm none of them. You know, I just want to let you know. Oh, yeah, I got shot. Oh, you don't know how intense I can get people. Tru hey, as a matter of fact, yeah. Ask Hellman. He knows how to get intense. Well, he's seen a little bit of that. But anyway, <clears throat> so, thank you for the stars. Keep sending in the stars, because later on, that's how we're going to be able to pay for, like, the, the internet here and all of this stuff. Because, you know, this is self-funded, by the way. That's why I don't owe anybody nothing. Thank you. Um, now, having said this, we will be talking about the Board of Education, right? I will be reaching out to uh, a couple of board members um, tonight. And... We're going to talk about, of course, City Council, right? We will also speak on... Oh, shoot, wait. 
There you go. So we're also going to talk about, again, the leadership, right? Accountability, right? So we're going to talk about leadership, and we're going to talk about priorities, because that's the problem. We don't have our priorities straight. You know what I'm saying? And we expect people, uh, elected officials, you know, to show face, be accountable, represent, but, you know, taxation without representation, right? So we're going to talk about that. A little rendezvous. <clears throat> so, let's get this crack a lacking. And again, people just give me a second. I'm going to read something before I get into the whole show uh, thing. Right? So, as you well know, well know, I did put out the birthday and boy public schools procedure proposal, transgender guidance, right? It's a proposal. Now, big shout out to Espana. I'm only trying to figure out who, who, who leaked it. The dark side, lady. The dark side. Anyway, <clears throat> so I just got to read this, right? Because I am going to read it for the people that didn't get to, didn't get a chance to look at it. So, state statute directs the commissioner of the New, Ye of the New Jersey Department of Education to establish guidelines to provide direction for school for schools in addressing common issues concerning the needs of transgender students and to assist schools in establishing policies and procedures that ensure a supportive and non-discriminatory environment for transgender students. The intended purpose of this guidance is to help school and district administrators to take steps to create an inclusive environment in which transgender and gender non-conforming students feel safe and supported and to ensure that each school provided provides equal education opportunities for all students in compliance with NJAC well whatever the statute right so let me get my Hold on a second. Let me let me do my milady. Hold on. Yes. Let me read this. Okay. <clears throat> so communications with the student and par with the student in Paramount schools and school districts are encouraged to communicate openly. I'll be confidentiality with students regarding their transgender status or gender identity. Proper communication with the student will ensure that appropriate steps are taken to determine a student, student's preference and address potential privacy concerns and associated risks to the student's well-being. A school district shall accept the student, a, a student's asserted gender identity Parental concern, consent, I'm sorry, parental consent is not required, right? So again, school districts shall accept the student's asserted gender identity. Parental consent is not required. That's the part that really like bothered a lot of people. The following procedure will be followed at Perth Boy Schools to promote an inclusive environment and support our students. Should a staff member, student, or parent have any questions, they can contact the student school counselor or building principal. You know how hard it is to contact these people, man? Anyway. Talk about, talk to the parents whose kids be getting bullied. Right? So anyway. <clears throat> if a student shares that they would like to change their name and or gender with a staff member, that staff member will be will refer them to the student school counselor who will follow the following procedures. Pre-K to grade four. <clears throat> the student counselor will contact the building principal and director of school counseling and related services for additional student support. 
that's um, from pre-K to the fourth grade. Now, from fifth grade to uh, the twelfth grade, the school counselor will request the student email them to have in writing the exact request and spelling of the new name change, specific gender change of the three options available. Option one, male. Option two, female. Option three, non-binary slash X. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. The school counselor will email the information to the following individuals that will do the following. Building principal for your information, assigned vice principal for your information, supervisor of school counseling and related services to make name and gender change. Request an, inf an infinite campus. Secretary of school counseling and related services. Documents in district Excel sheets. School nurse provide bathroom key if needed. Right? So that's one. Hold on a second. So this is the last cookie right here. So, designated building technology specialist. Initial. Name change and email if needed. Email district system integration administrator, CC technology support manager, and director of instruct instru instructional technology. Students, teachers, and child study team case manager, if applicable, based on the student centered individual conversation that yeah based on the student centered individual conversation that the counselor has with the student they will include additional information for the teachers to support and collaborate in the best interest of the student additional follow-up shall happen by the counselor within one week check in on the student ensure that the first week went smoothly and ascertain if the changes need to be made to the original plan or if the student has any other needs or concerns now the bathrooms listed below are designated as gender neutral and available to male female and or any non-binary students name of school birth and boy high school location of the bathroom so this is a uh, gender neutral so that bathroom specific to anybody wants to go in it's in the upper gym okay upper gym bathroom adult high school third floor restroom birthday and boy south campus cafeteria restroom and it does not state here uh where the one for mcginnis uh mcginnis school and show school and dls is <clears throat> so you know i got i got parents that were concerned with this that that came out right I have parents that uh felt that they should have been notified felt that they that they as a parent they have the right to know as a matter of fact <clears throat> there is a parent who actually wants to speak on this issue and uh, told me to call her so I will be calling her so just give me a second, please. And I will be opening up the phone line. So just in case, it's 732-824-8742. So that's 732-824-8742. You know what I'm saying? And you get two minutes. Two minutes because now we're going to be here for like tomorrow. So just give me a second, please. Bear with me. This is her number. By the way, uh, full disclosure, right? <clears throat> we must agree to disagree. You understand me? Because this is a very touchy subject. And I don't want anybody bringing hate. You understand me? And I don't want anybody disrespecting any other people. 
And if, if you happen to be a quarter, don't remember. Click is always around. So give me one second. How you doing, man? I'm alright, I'm alright. Hey. Welcome to the AD Paro 8 a personal Sunday Night Live, baby. Thank you, man. So, uh, you you did send me a message. Um, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and read the whole message. I rather you say your piece, right? And we take it from there. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you for your concern. Uh, again, this is something very new to everybody. Okay. So, uh, uh, to each their own. I respect your opinion. I respect everybody's opinion, right? Because I'm only here just, I'm just the messenger. You know what I'm saying? So I just I just brought you that 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 information, and I want to also let you and the viewers know that um, everything I put here, everything I put here is for you guys. If you notice, I didn't even comment on it, right? I had a lot of people like sending me messages. This is not what I do. So I, I bring the information because there's a lot of parents that were caught off guard with all of this. Um, but anyway, I thank you for your time. All right.
Wait, wait. So before I let you go, you speak Spanish? Okay, so, because, you know, hey, this is for the masses. So, could you please repeat all of this in Spanish? All right? Porque para la gente, para la gente que nos está escuchando, eh, ya sea en casa, en la calle, en el carro, donde sea, eh, esta, esta señora, esta madre, eh, me envió un mensaje con la cuestión, con la situación que se está dando en el distrito escolar y esta guía para la propuesta de la implementación de los baños trans, eh, transgéneros ¿verdad? Y, y, y baños neutros donde puede ir un niño, una niña y un, sino una caterva de cosas que la voy a leer ahorita en castellano, en español eh, pero díganme usted ¿qué fue lo que, qué fue lo que le lo que le impactó, lo que sí le sacó de, de onda. <coughs> eh, perdón, no solamente por el High School, corazón, en eh, todas las escuelas. Okay. Okay. Hey, by the way, by the way, discúlpame. Me están llegando los mensajes que no se no se está escuchando. Aquí yo te tengo en el, en, en la consola, so it's alright because we're we're recording. Um, <clears throat> entonces eso fue lo que pasó en la escuela, en la high school. Okay. Los padres, bueno, los padres tienen que que movilizarse. No pero no necesariamente en eso, sino en la transparencia. Porque la transparencia, eso es lo que molesta realmente. Eh, y el abuso que va a venir del sistema y un sinnúmero de, de cosas por ahí. Right. So, bueno, pero bueno. Uy. Ya mandaron la primera, papá, la primera estrellita. Eh, nos vemos luego, señora. Cuídense y muchas gracias. Así será. Gracias a usted. Anyway, so listen. So we had this, we, 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 
if you if you didn't hear her, okay, you you will be back on the live later on, and you'll hear it. Um, hey, hold on a second. Hey, oh oh oh. So, thank you, William. Thank thank you, Johan. Um, so apparently there was an issue at the at the bathroom over there at the high school with her niece. Some boys went inside the girls' bathroom, right? Uh, this is not the first time I hear this this week. Actually, um, I believe it was Thursday. Thursday, one of my great friend's uh, daughter went inside a bathroom and three boys went in. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this is something... That they really didn't, you know, this, this is the how I feel about all of this. I feel that this whole gender neutral and all of that should have been well thought out. Because now you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be bitter. A lot of people that are going to be mad. A lot of people that don't share those those views. Which everybody, hey, I'm not with everybody. If you're pro, if you're against whatever, I respect your, your, your ideals. But, you know, this reminds me of the cannabis uh, law. How, how it was rolled out. Like, you know, it was just done in a one-two without thinking uh, properly, right? So, having said all of this, just give me a second. So, <clears throat> me and them. Estuvimos hablando con una señorita. Usted ahorita, después que termine live, se darán cuenta, porque muchos nos escucharon, no pudieron escuchar. Pero qué sucede? <coughs> Ella, su sobrina, entró al baño de las niñas en la high school, donde de repente entraron unos muchachos o un muchacho, yo creo que fue. Pero ahora con esta guía, ¿verdad? con esta nueva guía que está en el en el distrito escolar con la cuestión de transgénero y de tener los baños neutrales que si sí, ya había si no me equivoco en la high school había un baño neutral eh, creo que por ahí por el guidance department eh, donde están los consejeros escolares esto va a causar muchos estragos porque esta ley, hay muchos padres, porque tenemos que hablar, aquí tenemos que edificarnos todos, ¿eh? porque aquí no solamente tenemos que, que entrarle con, con todo en buen dominicano a los, a los oficiales electos, sino que también a los mismos padres, ¿verdad? ¿Qué sucede? El caso de una señorita, hija de uno de mis grandes amigos, fue al baño el otro día, ojo, y entran tres muchachos. Se supone, según lo que está estipulado aquí, en esta propuesta, que si tú, como hijo o hija, como sea, que tu niño, el estudiante, niño, niña, se siente ser mujer, si de repente quiere cambiar su nombre también, solamente se lo tiene que hacer saber a cualquier empleado, maestro, eh, consejero, ellos van a cambiar su nombre, van a, a comunicarse también con el administrador de tecnología, porque también hay que cambiar el nombre y el sexo de, del niño o la niña, de la persona en cuestión, ¿verdad? Sin el consentimiento de su padre. Y que tampoco los padres tienen que saber. Miren, todo esto que está pasando, todo esto que está pasando ahora en, en nuestras escuelas, thank you, William, todo esto se si hubiese 
si hubiese si hubiese preparado mejor porque lo que esto va a venir a ser la falta de tacto la falta de planeamiento hay personas que son como son y tú tienes que respetarle eso es su preferencia si él se siente mujer y quiere que le digan Julia bueno, tú le dices Julia tú no necesariamente tienes que verlo como Julia pero tú le dices Julia porque ese es su derecho ¿verdad? el problema acá es lo siguiente y es que los padres no se preocupan por los niños en la escuela los padres no se preocupan los mayores, los adultos en votar en, 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 en leer todo esto ya, ya esto, esto fue una ley. ¿Eh? Mira, ahí hubo, hubo una, una reunión de padres. Y esto yo lo digo, porque por cierto, un saludo muy especial al a imbécil aquel. Porque yo soy antidominicano, según él. Señores, miren, aquí, déjame salirme un poquito del tema. Aquí la mayoría de personas que pernoctan, que moran, que viven acá en la ciudad. Somos nosotros los dominicanos. Y yo tuve el placer de hablar con una persona que trabaja para, para el distrito escolar, que dicho sea de paso, es dominicana, dominicano, y me dijo que a todas estas reuniones de padres y maestros, el 90% de las personas que van allá, no son, los, no son los padres americanos, son las demás etnias. También me dijo que lo más chistoso es que los padres que nunca van a, la, a, la, a las reuniones con los maestros para saber el desempeño ¿eh? y lo que está pasando con sus niños, no van a eso, pero cuando tú lo suspendes, cuando viene el, final, el fin del año, de una vez te quieren hablar, se, se ven comiendo todo el mundo. Yo conozco un par de padres así. Porque entienden que ellos tuvieron el niño y que el sistema se encargue de eso. Hay muchos padres que no sabían de esta ley. Y es importante, es muy importante, usted invertir su tiempo con su niño, con su niña para que estas cosas no lo agarren de prevenido porque también hay muchas personas que son ignorantes hay muchas personas que no te van a aceptar por lo que tú eres por lo que tú te sientes o como tú quieras decirlo hay personas como yo que aceptan a todo el mundo pero tampoco voy a permitir que el gobierno me diga a mí cómo yo tengo que criar al hijo mío ¿Eh? Pero eso es lo que pasa. Eso dame un segundito. So guys, look. You know. Crazy part about all of this is I've been I've been I've been I've been told I'm anti Dominican, which I could never be. I love being Dominican, right? And it's not Dominican, and you know who the hell you are. It's Dominican and we proud. But I'm gonna be honest with you. We're the majority here in Perth, damn boy. And the majority of the Dominican parents don't go to the, to the parent-teacher uh, uh, meetings. And this was told to me by a fellow Dominican that works for the school district. And that's why they get away with everything they do, right? You got teachers over there in the high school that got 30, 36 kids. You got teachers that have left. Because in their contract, it's up to five assignments, five classes. They're doing six and seven classes. They ain't even having lunch. But you know, like, hey, who the hell cares, right? Who the hell cares? But if you, if you, if you, you know, like, and this is what, this is what, this, this is what I really like. I love ignorant people. When they come up to me and they're like, oh, you're always bashing the, 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 the guy that's sitting on the, on the mayor's chair. 
Fresno, Fresno Manic at the big man here in the city of Park Town. But yeah, I am bashing it. I don't give a shit. Because he ain't... First of all, he ain't got the balls to lead. Second of all, too ignorant. Third, backstabbing. Fourth, not honorable. Fifth, not accountable. Six, irresponsible. Seven, incompetent. Eight, inept. Nine, doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And ten, full of shit. Right? So it was that whole divisive uh, speech. Oh, the French Dominican. Look, so now we have to be... Uh, what's, what's the term? Critical of ourselves. And, I'm, and I've been saying this for a long time now. How are we Dominicans the majority? And it's crazy that the majority of the people that reached out to me with this whole, uh, what, what was it? Uh, transgender. Hold on a second. Because, you know, if you're not politically correct, then they want to hang you, right? Procedure, proposal, transgender guidance, right? Let's say, had you been more involved in your kid's life? Had you been more involved in what's happening, not just here in Perth, damn boy, but everywhere? Because a newspaper ain't never going to kill anybody. You would know that this is law. This was this was passed. It's not just Perth, damn boy. Right? But the way they did it, right? That's the part that ticked a lot of people off. So going back to the conversation that I had with that person. Yo, 90 percent of the people that attend the PTOs are in Dominican. And we're the first ones complaining. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Uh, you not putting in the time. And making excuses to justify you're not being able to attend or send somebody on your behalf, it's no excuse either. Right? So, it's crazy how this happened. Everybody's alarmed. And now you got people that are truly, like, you know, homophobic. There's people that are really, like, you know, transphobic. That's another one that I want. Transphobic. And the lawmakers, especially the the people like the, the, the super independent, right? And his goons and, and everybody across the state should have thought about the way they were going to do this, right? Because it's not here. Here you go. This is what, there you go. We, we're going to learn as we go. That's not the way the cookie crumbles, right? No parent, no parent likes being told what to do with their kids. Although, you got a lot of parents that, you know, they just drop them off. Well, now, your poor involvement has gotten you this. So you're aggravated. It's a tough cookie for you, right? Um, <clears throat> at the same time, look, this whole proposal and this whole stuff, you should have thought about it some more because now you know kids are always going to be exploiting things so what's going to happen and it's not every kid out there but what's going look look someone sent me a a, 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 a a story about this guy that got locked up and he was a trans woman or just transgender or whatever it was and they put him or her inside an all female uh prison I think it was like seven of them that got pr impregnated right and then there was another lady that said wait no but that doesn't mean everybody's gonna do it that's right ain't nobody not everybody's gonna do that but the people that feel a certain type of way are gonna go based on that you understand me and there's people that first of all they don't treat you based on how you look First, then based on how you speak, 
second. And then based on their interaction as a whole with you. Third and final. But a lot of people now are going to be predisposed, right? Into feeling a certain way. Because the system failed. That young lady whom you guys had didn't have the opportunity um, <clears throat> to hear, to listen to. She spoke about the way the school handled it, and 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 and, and parent involvement. But now that we're talking about all of this, hold on a second, because there's a lot of things that are happening. And I wanna, I wanna first hold on a second. A lot of people be messaging me. Where are our elected officials? Look, where's Helmut Kaaba? He was a power professional, right? He worked for the school, for the school district. As a matter of fact, he put together an incompetent Board of Education ticket. He really did. Where are they on this issue? Not only that, where is that uh, uh, council, council ticket on this issue? So now, I got to break this down to you. Dame un segundo. I got to break this down to you. You have Kenneth Puccio, right? Kenneth Puccio. How you doing, Kenny? Kenneth Puccio. Kenneth Puccio happens to be the president of the Board of, of Education. So this is what happened this, this weekend. I put the memo out there. They were supposed to have a Board of Education meeting. You understand me? And the meeting was canceled. Now, hold on a second, because it gets better, right? You remember that thing that I said? Um, <clears throat> about the show school and the drama queen, better known as uh, Amador Roman, the superintendent? Well... Just to put you in perspective, um, this is ooh, oh yeah, this was good. So this is what happened. Apparently, the when 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 Doctor or whatever the hell his name is, Roman, the superintendent, the inept one was going to give a presentation at show school. The IT guy messed up and the microphone wasn't working. So, the crazy part out of, out of all of this is the microphone's not working, he's having a pepper, yeah, temper tan, tan, the tantrum. All of that, I'm sorry guys, I'm just sick, I'm out of it. So, temper tantrum. So things aren't going his way. And he slammed the mic. He said it wasn't acceptable, right? Showing the same bullshit pictures of some renovated uh, uh, walls and floors. As a matter of fact... The crazy part of all of this, because I'm gonna go back to Kenneth Pucho, was that it wasn't a, a it wasn't a, a teacher, it wasn't nobody from the faculty that reached out to me and told me what was going on. It was actually a kid whose name I will not disclose, because you know we don't we don't do that. A kid of one of of one of the people that watches, that's probably watching now or will be watching later on, 
that reached out to me via message and said, I will not take video of this because I don't want them to take my phone away. But this is unacceptable. This is the same kid that said, listen, Roman said that in order that we need him to be successful. You hear that? Like that piece of shit told our kids. How you doing, Roman? Yeah, you can, you can sue me. Yeah. You're going to tell a group of kids that in order for them to succeed, they need you. Because they will never be successful without you. This is Amador Roman, the same guy that have been getting, has been getting a contract extension, a contract renewal almost every year. You understand me? This is the guy that's making over $250,000 here that has never, ever addressed any fucking parent here. Any fucking parent here. And that's the fucking problem. You understand me? And you want to fucking bitch and moan. And you want to see why, why our kids are acting this way. Huh? Because there's no fucking leadership here. And I'm sorry that I have to curse. But that's the problem here. You guys got to get your shit together. Look at this one. You got Kenny Puccio, the president of the fucking Board of Education. Huh? Ain't got no balls. And he's running for city council. Hey, on a personal level, I like the guy. Politics, he's done. He ain't done shit. And then you got the other one, the vice president, the vice president, Tashi Vasquez, ain't done shit either. All they do is cater to this to this guy. He goes and cancels a freaking meeting. He does. So, so this is how you know everything is messed up here, right? Look, you got an incompetent mayor, and inept as hell, which by the way has to be the most incompetent and inept Democratic, uh, uh. Chair in the history of the Democratic Party here in Perth, damn boy. Running that shit like if it's a social club. How you doing, Hellman? Huh? He was, hey, when the law passed, whether you were for or against it, what happens if, if you were against it? You still a citizen here in Perth, damn boy? Did he ever address this? Did he ever say anything? No, he's getting the bullshit ticket together. So Roman can do whatever the hell it is. But hold on. Let's go back to Roman. So Kenny Puccio, instead of facing the music, no, you know what he was doing this weekend? He was on Brook, on, on Brook, Brook Avenue. I got the pictures here. Brook Avenue. Yeah, this is a little ticket. Council City ticket. Like, my man, you haven't done anything over there at the council, at the, at, at the Board of Education. You haven't done one shit. You have never addressed, hey, how you doing, Hellman? You neither, bro. Hey, paraprofessional is shit. Sorry, excuse me for paraprofessional. You better tell Heidelberg to get your fucking job over there because you ain't going to work in the Board of Education here in Port Amboy. But check this out. That's the reason why I'm not for sale, people. So check this out, Roman, because see, I'm not scared of you, brother. Trust me. You'll be the last mother fricker I'd be scared of. I like your compadres and your minions. They always get of you because you're my father. But check this out. They canceled the Board of Education meeting. Do you know what happens now? Do you know what happens to the teachers? To the people that are wait that just came in that are waiting to get paid? As a matter of fact, there's this guy that actually left the school district the first day. Because he had his program. He had everything put together. And they gave him more shit on top of it. There's over 200 vacancies, 217, something like that. We ain't got enough teachers. And this is the bullshit that they're going to give you. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, it's, uh, it's like that on Nationwide. I don't give a shit about Nationwide. I don't give a damn about South Amboy, Sarahville, Patterson, Milburn. I don't give about. I don't give a shit about nobody but Perth Amboy. Don't fucking justify your stupidity and your ineptitude by comparing me to other Districts, you understand me. And when you look at this guy's fucking contract, how you doing, Tashi Lee Vasquez? How you doing? You better tell Heidelberg or, or, or Roman to get your job somewhere else. Your ass gonna be cut. You ain't gonna make it. Your ass done. You guys haven't done anything, huh? While she was, hey, hey. So check this out. So the president of the Board of Education, Kenneth Puccio, and on a personal level, guys, when you see him, say, what's up? He's a cool guy. 
But this is business, so I don't give a shit. So listen to this. On a personal level, he all right. Where was he when all this shit went down with the whole transgender policy and all of that? With that, Listen, you have to speak for the people that can't speak for themselves. You represent for everybody. I don't give a damn whether you're pro-transgender policy or against it. Hey, this is a democracy. How you doing, 15 minute boring ass interviews? This ain't no communist country here. But you know where he was at? He was over there. He a little, little barbecue. Huh? With his running mates. Where was Tashi Lee Vasquez at? She was at a football game because she loved the kids. Who the hell? I don't give a shit about no football game. Hey, much respect to my Panthers. I love each and every one of y'all. But guess what? The way shit is running here and the poor quality education that our kids are receiving, hey, you might as well just close this shit. The whole, the whole district. The Board of Education hires the pooper intendant, the super inept intendant. You understand me? Ultimately, they are his boss. He answers to them. But this is how incompetent the Board of Education, some of the Board of Education uh, members are. Listen, he cancels a meeting, a Board of Education meeting. Not only this, one of my compadres that works for the district said, hey, why you think they take so long in, in, in closed session? Because they want to tie them out. Because people are tired, people are hungry, and they leave. Why he ain't never address anybody? But then again, hey, don't worry about it. This is La La Land. Everything and anything is possible. If not, you can ask Helmet. So now, getting back to Kenny Puccio. My man was over there ha having a little rendezvous. Tasha Lee Vasquez, the vice president, ain't put shit out regarding, and I know you're going to be watching later, to my Facebook sister. So check this out. So she was watching a, a, a baseball game. I mean, a football game. Knowing damn well, the Board of Education meeting was canceled. You know how many people are not going to get paid now? Hey, they might probably put something out later on after this live. But you know, it's better to politic. So, Kenneth Pucho didn't, didn't say anything about this. Tashi Lee Vasquez didn't say anything about this. These are the people that were down with the 2% school tax increase. You understand me? These are the people that are always down into fucking renewing the most incompetent and inept superintendent in the history of Perth Boy. His contract. There's people on the board that got their kids like in private schools. What the, and you haven't even done anything there. How you doing? You think I forgot about you? I don't give a shit. Then you got the other lady, Daniel Brown. Hey, you can send this one to her. And it said that Ms. Ms. Daniel Brown, she's a pastor or something like that. She has her own church over there in Plainfield, South Plainfield. I don't know where it's at. But it is alleged she don't live here. That wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't fucking surprise me. It wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me. Hey, as a matter of fact, that guy, uh, Joe Esquilla, is the one that's running for the Board of Education and being competent ticket, right? You don't even live here in Pretemboy. He lives in Carteret. Y'all can say whatever the hell y'all want to say. Then you got the other guy, the cop. He's nowhere to be around. Has he mentioned anything about what's going on? Then you got the other, my, my, my friend, my great friend, my, my sweetheart of a friend. How you doing, baby? Ain't put nothing out. So, to all the teachers and all the unions out there in La La Land, these are the people that are representing you. And to the people that live here in Perth Amboy, the, bo the Board of Education president that has done nothing to defend our kids, nothing to defend our schools, and has never uttered anything, has never held the most incompetent superintendent accountable, is running for city council. On Hellman's ticket, because that's Hellman's ticket. I, by the way, put it this way. He said he wasn't going to walk. Don't worry about it, Kenny. He said he wasn't going to walk. They were asking him for money. He was only going to give $100. How you doing, Hellman? 
Hey, hold on a sec. Oh no, I'll, I'll say that a little later. Hold on a sec. I gotta send a shout out to Kevin McCabe. <laughs> Hell yeah. Forgive me, shit. Let's go. So anyway, now they want to run for city council. These are the same individuals that have done any nothing. He came up on ethics charges. Ethics violations, right? Milady Tejada. Tejada. She was part of that clique. Ethics violations. Ethics charges. Voting on pilots. Which contracts she never even read. And if you have read any contracts, come and sit down with me. Let's go through the contracts and tell me what it was that compelled you to go with the pilots. Taxation without representation. Just a bunch of incompetent people. And they have another young lady running with them that works for the school district. I'd like to know what her take is in the debacle and all of this. Because if I'm not mistaken, she's a guidance counselor, right? Well, so how do you feel about, how do you feel, whether you're pro or against the, the proposal? Okay, how do you feel about the massive amounts of resignations of the teachers? How do you feel about David Roman Amador being a fucking bully? Because everybody over there is scared of him. I'll tell you one thing. If having balls as a person, if not giving a single F as a person, I mean, I have a high-ass fever, y'all. That's what you need. And I am running for nothing. I like to know, I like to, hey, do me a favor. Tell the board, of, ask the board of education members. As a matter of fact, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me see, let me see if I could, if I could get this guy on the, on the line. Hold on. Hold on a second. You guys say you can't hear him. Tell my man, I can't, yo, people calling over here. Hold on a second. Let me know what's going on my hand. So this is. Now you know what I'm gonna call you like this. Nah, I'll call you like this. Hello? How you doing? Is this Junior Iglesias? This is the beard. How are you, sir? A.D. Paro. I'm all right. I'm all right, sir. Listen, I have a question for you. Um, could you please tell me as to why the Board of Education meeting was canceled. And before you before you answer that one, the <clears throat> what was it? I'm sorry, guys. I just have. You know, I'm sorry because I'm sick, uh, Mr. Iglesias. So you know. So I have another question. The proposal, the 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 the, the procedure proposal of the transgender guidance, right? Did you have a copy of that when it came out? When I put it out, did you already have a copy of it? The agenda for the meeting. For yourself. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so so this is there another question then. Did you guys were you guys ever notified by the president of the board of education or the vice president of the board of education or the secretary of the board of education or the what is it the business administrator of the board of education?
Okay. When when was it canceled? Thursday. Oh wow. So 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 I have a question. So what happens now with the people that were supposed to be getting paid? But because of the cancellation of this meeting, people are not gonna be getting paid now. Okay, so having said this, another thing, another thing, listen, you guys, and I'm talking about collectively, in general, you guys got to get it together over there, my friends. You guys got to get it together, because the people, and when I say get it together, you guys don't work for the superintendent. It's the other way around. He works for you guys. You understand me? And I'm not just taking it out on you, because it just so happens you're the one, you're the one that I, that I called. You know what I mean? So you got you got a plethora of parents that are pissed. You got you got you got faculty, you got P, oh, board of education employees, school district employees that are not even gonna get paid. And look, and another thing is, I'm gonna be calling for demonstration because I will not allow I will not allow Amador Roman to do whatever the hell he think he gonna do here. In my city. To do whatever the hell he thinks he gonna do here. While he sits his ass over there in his mansion in Freehold. Getting over $250,000. Laughing all the way to the bank. And you got a, and you got an, an assistant to the assistant to the assistant to the assistant. And all these bullshit uh, uh, positions. And I'm sorry if I'm taking it out on you. It's, don't, don't, don't look at it that way. Alright. Listen, the only thing I could tell you is that there's a lot of people right now that are pissed. There's a lot of people that are that are pissed because of the other agenda, the, the proposed uh, transgender uh, guidance, the, the policies. Because that was, hold on, hold on. Yes. That's another one. No, no, that's a different one. That's another one. So, so like, you know, like you, like the Board of Education works for us. So we are the boss of the Board of Education. That's also the boss to the superintendent. We the taxpayers. Taxation without representation. You see what that happened? You see what happened over there? Boston Tea Party. You remember that? Huh? So, 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 so check this out. So check this out. So how to set all of this? Because we have to go into Spanish now. How many said all of this? How come you guys weren't notified by the president and vice president of the Board of Education? How come Roman didn't send you guys any email? And by the way, are you guys his employees or is it the other way around? So anyway, so guys, I'll be back. Eh, eh, estamos aquí conversando con el miembro de la Junta Escolar, Junior Iglesias, que también, dicho sea de paso, sí, porque hay que poner la vaina, eh, candidato al Consejo Municipal de la Ciudad de Puerto Amboy, eh, concejal, candidato a concejal, eh, Todo lo que está pasando acá en el Distrito Escolar, hay muchas personas que no saben lo que sucedió la, la, la semana pasada. Esta semana, señor Iglesias, la Junta Escolar tenía que tener una reunión donde tenía que estar presente el ineto, pero eso viene de parte mía, el ineto coprófago, 
del superintendente, el, super, el superintendente Román. Aquí hay personas, para los padres que están aquí en la la land, ¿verdad? Porque aquí no pasa nada, que dependen de esa reunión, señor Iglesias. Y esa reunión fue cancelada porque no le van a pagar. Si no hay una reunión, no le van a pagar. Aquí hay empleados nuevos que no van a tocar. No. ¿Cómo se le paga? Otra cosa, otra cosita. Se cancela eso. Entonces aquí viene la pregunta mía. Usted, usted y, lo, y los demás miembros. Bueno, vamos a hablar de usted porque usted no habla por ellos. ¿A usted se le notificó so, sobre la cancelación de, de esta reunión de la Junta Escolar? Como miembro, es como usted. Claro, tiene que ser compensado por su labor. Lo, usted sabe lo que es inaceptable, señor Iglesias, disculpe que le coarte. Lo que es inaceptable que un carajo a la vela, ganando 250 y pico mil de dólares al año, viviendo en su mansión ahí en Freehold, ¿eh? porque que no crea él que yo no sé de, lo contra, de la contratación de él, en qué año se construyó la casa, hasta del ticket que le dieron a la esposa de él ahí en la 1.9, en la 19. Toda la información la tengo yo. Lo que es inaceptable es también lo que ese señor hizo en las escuelas. Este, esta, esta semana que pasó, usted no tiene que corroborar, corroborar. Usted solamente necesita que usted me escuche. Es inaceptable que el superintendente, ¿eh? el come miércoles ese, venga y le diga a los niños que su triunfo en su vida depende de él. O sea, que para ellos triunfar en, 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 en la vida, para ir a la universidad, es por él. Agarró, tiró, extrayó en buen dominicano el micrófono, porque aparentemente el técnico eh, pasó un problema ahí y se fue enfurecido. Y lo que tiene que darle miedo a usted y vergüenza a todo el mundo aquí en la ciudad... No fue que a mí me llamó una de las personas que trabaja para el distrito escolar. A mí me textió un hijo, una hija, de una de las personas que ven el live mío todos los domingos. Y me dijo, hey, D, yo no le saco un video a esto porque tengo miedo que, me, que se den cuenta y me quiten el celular. O sea, cuando un niño, que lo que tiene son 12, 13, 14 años, no, estamos hablando de los bien. A mí, sin conocerme, me escribe eso. ¿Qué deja, ¿Qué deja eso dicho? Ese es el ejemplo que le estamos dando a la juventud. Esa es la forma como se debe de, 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 de expresar una persona mayor. Como debe de articular, exponer. Ese es el mensaje que él quiere llevarle. Entonces, mire, yo en, por mi parte, de mi parte, yo hablo por lo demás, de mi parte y las personas que yo conozco, mis amistades, yo le pido a usted, no sé si, si ya lo hizo, yo le pido a usted que por lo menos llame al presidente de la Junta Escolar, que en escucho, comuníquese con el presidente de la Junta, con la vicepresidenta también, necesitamos que esa reunión se dé, como también necesitamos que esas sesiones a, a puerta cerrada, que esa vaina se acabe. Porque aquí los padres, los padres no tienen tiempo para salir del trabajo y sentarse ahí, con hambre y cansado. Algo hay que hacer.
Okay. Ok, ok, ahora, ahora me están, me están escribiendo aquí. Eh, no sabemos cuándo, cuándo, cuándo es la próxima eh, reunión de la Junta Escolar. En pocas palabras, no sabemos cuándo es. Pero... Sí, pero no se pueden no se pueden ir a sesión a sesión a ver, puerta cerrada. Tiene que ser abierta, tiene que tiene que haber participación. Que si se le quieren cagar en la madre también a él, que él aguante. Porque como dice aquí la señora Cita Cardona, ¿por qué por qué es que los padres cuando 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 piden una hablar con el superintendente, él siempre tiene una excusa, siempre está ocupado. ¿Eh? 250 mil dólares. Siempre está ocupado. Según me comenta mi fuente, por si acaso usted no lo sabía, usted sabe que yo tengo una liga de calizaje. Él cambia hasta de carro y el carro y su auto, el auto que le provee el distrito, no lo estaciona en el mismo lugar siempre para que no se den cuenta que él está ahí. Entonces, bueno, esa es una de las cosas. Otra de las preguntas que tienen por aquí. Hold on a second. Okay, so I guess they can't hear you right now, but they'll be hearing it later on. Listen, another thing is, how come parents, when they ask to speak to the superintendent, he always has an excuse. Two, over $225,000, laughing all the way to the bank, fresh air and everything over there in Freehold, huh? It can't even face the parents. Now, if you're going to call, sorry, if you're going to call for a, for a meeting, the only thing I ask of you and the other board members is, it has to be an open meeting. No closed session. Forget the closed session. Parents need to know what's going on. And he needs to be held accountable. That's the problem here. So, having said all of this, and I really do want to thank you for your time, sir. Uh, is there any way you can, if you're going to email, is there any way you can, you can give me a copy of your email asking for the, for the meeting? I don't know if it's legal. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Junior Iglesias. Thank you, sir. Okay. Give me a second, guys. So, entonces, ¿qué sucede, mi gente? Estamos hablando aquí con el, con, el, con el miembro de la Junta Escolar, Junior Iglesias. Hay una de las cosas que usted tiene que tomar, ¿verdad? Ser vigilante, ser cautos, prestarle atención. Mi gente, tú tienes, por ejemplo, el presidente de la Junta Escolar, que eres pucho, que se está candidateando para ser concejal de la ciudad. Ese señor, que en lo personal, tiene mi respeto, como político no tiene nada, no ha hecho absolutamente nada, no ha representado a nadie, ¿eh? en ningún momento ha, se ha expresado, se ha manifestado, 
eh, de forma representativa en cuanto a los padres con el superintendente escolar. Mi gente, mira, tú esta, tú esta, tú esta vaina que está pasando acá, la cancelación de esa reunión de la Junta Escolar, hay personas que no van a cobrar. Aquí hay maestros, en el contrato de los maestros, en el viejo contrato, todavía están sin contrato, está estipulado hasta cinco, cinco asignaciones, o sea, cinco clases. Aquí hay maestros que están haciendo seis, siete, y tienen laboratorio, no tienen ni tiempo ni para comer. Aquí hubo un maestro que, que renunció el primer día de la escuela. Y ahora, según escucho, carajo a la vela, la tipa eh, eh, España y toda esta gente están hablando de que, que él va a perder su certificación y todas sus cosas. Porque en el contrato dice que él tiene que dejarle saber al distrito escolar, él o ella, el maestro que sea, 60 días con anticipación de que se va a retirar. Bueno, el pana oh, llegó con su plan de, de, de escolar para el año. Y le, y le quisieron indilgar, adjudicar, meter. Yo creo que fueron como dos clases más. Ahí se fue. Aquí en la high school, si no me equivoco, no hay un director de deporte. Y lo, lo grande del caso es que, por ejemplo, tú tienes a Kenneth Pucho. Oye, el para presidente de la Junta Escolar y está en la contienda para ser concejal acá. Él es parte del equipo tiene un competente manejado por el, el más inepto e incompetente alcalde y primer americano gente, en la historia de esta ciudad. Mientras todo esto estaba pasando con la reunión, mientras todo eso estaba pasando, con la cuestión de la propuesta eh, para la guía de las pólizas en cuanto los reglamentos en cuanto a, 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 al tema transgénero en el distrito, distrito escolar se refiere, ¿sabe dónde estaba él? En Brook Avenue ahí. Como un parlanchín. Busquen eso en el diccionario que después dice como que es una mala palabra gozándosela ¿Eh? ¿dónde estaba la vicepresidenta de la junta? Tashi en un juego en un juego de, 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 de la high school un juego de fútbol americano oye yo vivo orgulloso de mi high school, yo me gradué de esa high school pero qué me importa a mí un juego cuando hay cosas más importantes que tú coño tienes que estar haciendo igual que el otro presidente de la junta escolar porque para que usted si acaso se le olvida, el superintendente, el superinepto, trabaja para la junta escolar. No es, vice, no, 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 es, no es al revés. Quien emplea al superintendente es la junta escolar. Valga la redundancia, el empleador, el jefe. Y es tanto así, para que tú así son tan incompetentes... Señores, que aquí la Junta Escolar tiene que pedirle permiso al coprófago ese de que para entrar a una escuela, un miembro de la Junta Escolar tiene que pedirle permiso al para entrar a la escuela. ¿Eh? O sea, para que usted tenga una idea, es como que yo vaya a su casa, usted me, me eligió a mí para, para dirigir su casa. Perdón. El pueblo me eligió a mí para dirigir esta casa y yo vengo y empleo a otra persona, pero yo tengo que pedirle permiso a esa persona para entrar a esta casa, que es suya. La desconexión que hay aquí es rampante, eso es increíble señores. Cosas tan importantes, ¿no? Pero es mejor la política. ¿eh? Mira, por ejemplo, 
no solamente ha sido Germán Cava un fracaso rotundo, inepto, incompetente, irresponsable, como alcalde, también como director de la policía, no sirve tampoco, nunca ha dado la cara, ahí no hay cojones, y mucho menos, mucho menos, como presidente de la organización del Partido Demócrata de aquí de la ciudad. Y te voy a explicar por qué. Porque él como presidente de ese órgano, o sea, del Partido Demócrata acá, no cree usted que él se vaya en contra de un alineamiento, de una línea que baja el partido a nivel estatal. No, 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 papá. Él no puede decirse que él no, él no puede decir jamás que él no sabe eso porque él no vive de que para arriba y para abajo, de que con el gobernador y toda esta gente y los senadores. ¿Eh? Y nunca en su, en su vida, coño, te, te, te ha mostrado la cara. Y yo aquí prendido en fiebre normal, sin buscarme un solo kiki, porque estoy harto de la porquería, estoy harto de que gente inepta, coño, gente, gente irresponsable, que lo único que han venido es azarar, coño. ¿Eh? Y lo que, más, lo que más rompe el alma, coño, es cuando una persona más ignorante, porque cuando tú crees que, que la cosa no te puede sorprender, hay gente más ignorante todavía que Helmi, que siguen a Helmi. ¿Eh? Es increíble. No, a mí no me importa esa vaina. Pregúntale cómo es, pregúntale pro o en contra, pero que no venga de que con... con, con con un, con un discursillo baratillo de pacotilla. No, porque yo soy demócrata y es lo que la gente quiera, lo que el pueblo quiera. Papi. Tú no tienes al presidente de la Junta Escolar ahí, corriendo en, en el ticket tuyo. Porque tú saliste, cuando él se te encojonó de la reunión, tú saliste por ahí. ¿Qué tú crees? Que yo no sé de eso. Welcome to the dark side. Más inepto no se puede ser en la vida. Pero después tú te preguntas, ¿por qué las cosas son como son? No, 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 no. A mí me dijo alguien el otro día, Bárbaro, yo no sabía que, que Helmin iba hacia así, man. ¿cómo así? No, que el tigre no enseña la cara, la única vez como tú decías, y, y yo, te, yo te escuchaba, y ese, y este, y este tipo, y yo te escuchaba, y yo te conocía así bien. Man, pero él, él, él cambió y tú tuviste la razón. Digo yo, no, él no cambió. Él te está mostrando a ti ahora lo que yo vi desde el principio. Tú no ves el video de la entrevista con el capitán. Cuando yo lo tengo ahí, que se paró en el consejo municipal, cuando era concejal, dándole la puñalada a, a, a quien lo puso ahí. ¿eh? Y andando de, de rata, y cuando digo rata, chota, sapo, Mandándole, mandando, mandándole cartas, hablando con, con, con dueños de, de, de locales comerciales, porque el team de Ginés Río y Joel Pavón y Junior la Iglesia, ahora, papá, es eh, felicidad de esa gente, la columna 1 y también el, 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 el ticket de ellos, Marilyn Grullón, eh, Ricky Zaleski, Fernández, columna 1, diablo, va y, y ellos dónde quedaron, porque Dios te manda señales a ti. En el tercer lugar, papi. ¿Eh? ¿Dónde está Mila Diteda? ¿Eh? Mila Diteda salió de ahí, de la Junta Escolar. Y él mismo salió de ahí, de la, de la Junta Escolar. ¿Qué piensa él sobre, sobre esto, sobre lo que está pasando acá con la Junta? La, cancelia, la cancelación de esa, de esa reunión. Donde hay muchas personas que van a dejar de percibir lo que por derecho, coño... Le, le corresponde por su sudor, su labor. Usted quiere el cambio. Chupen cambio, man. A mí yo con fiebre y todo, puede estar relampagueando. Oye, un diluvio como el que hubo hace, hace dos o tres semanas. Y yo aquí normal, dando la cara. Y él no tiene los cojones ni para dar la cara porque hasta, hasta le tuvo que pagar a, un, a, un, a una firma de relaciones públicas por la cuestión de la bicicleta. Papi, que a mí no se me olvida nada. Un saludo al tigre de los 23 mil dólares. Tú sabes quién. ¿Qué tú crees, hombre? Que yo no sé nada de eso. ¿Eh? 
Anyway, this is para que ustedes vean. So give me a second, because this is, hey, he's getting good. This is gentleman, he wants to talk to me. So let me see what he got to say. Sir, we only got about two minutes, all right? So give me one second. Oh, by the way, by the way. Venimos ahora, mi gente. By the way, so I did hear, right? Everybody gets a fair shot here. So this is what I heard. I heard from a little bird. Hold on a second. I got to go into these messages now. So I heard that uh, they had to uh, squirt Tasha Lee Vasquez because allegedly she was being harassed by a former board member who got in her face and started talking about the most incompetent and inept superintendent, the one that she's always pleading for, right? So, since everybody gets a fair shot, I'm going to call the guy now. So, if you don't hear him now, you can hear him back later. Give me a second. I don't know how come this is not working today. Um. I'm, try I'm trying to call you, sir. Hey, we got two minutes on the line for you, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. How you doing? First of all, that's my line. That's my line. All right. Okay, so before you go on, before you go on, hold on a second. So I was told, supposedly, because I wasn't there, it is alleged that you got on Tassie Lee Vasquez's face and you were, and she had to be squirted out and all of this. So, you know, I'm giving you the opportunity to explain what happened. Okay, so listen, I, all right, hold on a second, because I know that's rhetorical, but for the people out there in La La Land, this is what happened. Uh, yes, yeah, Zoom is there. As a matter of fact, we use Zoom uh, for, council, for, the, for the council meetings, but I recall that the last uh, Board of Education meeting that, I, that I, I couldn't go, you know, in person, I actually had to dial by phone because they didn't want to do it via Zoom, and they had us locked like in another, like in another spot, and then like 20 minutes in, that's when they let us in, and it's a whole lot of bullshit. 
So, having said all of this, we have to go in Spanish. So, first of all, wait. So then what happened over there? What happened over there? What's your title? <clears throat> hey, hey, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Now that we're talking about this, do you know anything about the ethics of uh, violations of uh, Milady Tejeda? who's the current council member that's running for council, city council again, uh, as an incumbent. And do you know anything about Kenneth Pucho? Hey, by the way, first of all, before you even go on Kenneth, I like Kenny Pucci. You understand me? I like Kenny Pucci on a personal level. Now, on a, prof uh, on a political level, were they brought up a charge yes or no? Because I don't, I don't want to make it, I don't want to make it too. This is Samuel LeBron. Hold on a second. Let me make my impression. Anyway, listen. So, give me a second. Entonces, para la persona, espérate, papi. Para la persona, caballero, que no entienden el inglés. Se dio una situación, claro que sí, en, en castellano que lo necesito. Se dio una situación donde a mí me, me enviaron mensajes diciéndome como que usted supuestamente se le puso de frente a, a Tassili Vasquez, quien, quien es la vicepresidenta de la actual junta uh, escolar para nuestra ciudad, y que fue tanto así que ella, tuvie, ella tuvo que ser escoltada hasta su vehículo. Sí, entonces eso pasó así. Sí, sí. De seguridad, sí.
En español, en español, en español, en español. Contra su juramento, en contra de su juramento, porque como, como, como oficial electo, ellos, ellos hacen un, un juramento en los Ok, en pocas palabras, entonces en pocas palabras, ella no está ahí para dirigir a los empleados del distrito escolar. Ella, su, su, lo que ella está llamada a hacer es póliza, reglamentos, estatutos, como tú le quieras decir, dárselo al superintendente para que él tome acción en eso. Eso, that's what you're trying to say. El temperamento, el temperamento. De cinco años, sí. Claro, 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 claro. Pero mira, déjame terminar aquí. Gracias. Uh, be, be safe, brother. Ok. Entonces, para lo que quizás no he escuchado, eh, una de las cosas que sí me llamó la atención de esto fue, y es verdad, a este superintendente se le ha renovado el contrato anualmente. Un contrato de cinco años. ¿Cuáles han sido las evaluaciones? Este es el mismo superintendente que le dan una bonificación por sus metas. ¿eh? Una de sus metas fue joder el, el, el almuerzo, el desayuno de los niños. ¿eh? Porque ahora las cafeterías deben de ser prósperas y autosuficientes. Tienen que dejar dinero. Yo quiero que ustedes vean la foto que me llega a mí de, de, de lo que sirven ahí. Las empanadas y las porquerías, 5 dólares con 50 centavos. Dice, esto cuesta 5 dólares con 50 centavos. Hay niños que ni quieren comer ahí. Bueno, pero ya eso lo dejaremos para pa, pa el próximo live. Um, <coughs> tenemos que prestarle atención a todo lo que está pasando acá. Tenemos que prestarle atención porque es el futuro de nuestros hijos. Mira cómo este señor que se cree, porque él tiene una vena faraónica, ¿eh? el megalómana este el megalomaniaco este no él entiende que el éxito de los niños de nosotros de nuestros niños valga la redundancia dependen de él 
Este hace una porquería de exhibición, de presentación en los auditorios, enseñándote los mismos pasillos de hace 5 o 7 años que remozó. ¿Eh? Que volvieron a pintar. Quizás. A mí no me importa un coño que tú me pongas un castillo de oro y diamantes como escuela para que los niños asistan cuando la educación que se vaya a proveer en ese espacio sea propérrima, carezca de calidad, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que pasa. Entonces tú estas high school nueva que van a abrir todos los accidentes del mundo. Mi gente, tenemos que hablar de accidentes. Espera, dame un segundo. Give me a second, guys. I started late. You know this two hours. Hey, Big Daddy could go on that, but hold on a second. Uh, we gotta talk about the accidents. Okay. Entonces, esto, esto es para que él, él va a decir, esto lo hice yo, es lo mismo que la Tashi, la Tashi lo que está loca, que, 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 que se termine esa vaina y que ella esté todavía ahí en la Junta Escolar para ya firmar. No, esta gente no ha hecho un carajo. Un carajo no han hecho por el distrito escolar, eso es mentira. Mira, ahí yo vi que entró un señor llamado Robert Dale, que fue mi maestro de matemáticas en la intermedia a quien yo le debo una de, las, una de las enseñanzas de vida más grande que me tocó a mí. Una persona que no solamente admiré, admiro y he de seguir admirando, sino una persona que más que un maestro llegaba cuando la clase empezaba a las 8 de la mañana si yo llegaba a las 6.45 con mi hermana, de su tiempo, porque ese tigre vivía fumando su cigarrillito por la mañana, antes de empezar, ¿verdad? Y un café malísimo. Pero a él le gustaba su café. Y él de 6.45 a 7.15, si nosotros teníamos problemas, en el tiempo que no le tocaba a él, a él servirnos, ayudarnos, sacaba de su tiempo para, para edificarnos. Y es una pérdida la del distrito escolar que se fue ese caballero que se retiró. Porque ese tipo, oye, el final de los finales. So, entonces, hey, big shout out to Dr. Dale, man. I got love for you. Me and my sister, my mother, everybody loves you. So, <coughs> ahora vienen la, la, las elecciones. ¿Dónde tú, estás, ¿Dónde tú estás viendo a, a el equipo de la, de la Junta Escolar? ¿Eh? ¿De la incompetencia? ¿Dónde tú estás viendo el equipo para que va candidateándose para, para el, el Consejo Municipal City Council? ¿Eh? ¿De la incompetencia? ¿Cuándo se, cuando se han pronunciado? No se pronuncian en nada. En absolutamente nada. Y por eso que te voy a votar en la columna de que tres. Oye, la tercera opción, papi, no son ni la primera ni la segunda, la tercera opción. Entonces, como a Germín le gusta mucho mezclar, la, mez, mezclar lo que es la religión y la creencia para agarrarlo a ustedes de conejito de India, porque yo lo que tengo que venir para un pastor aquí y comenzar con una oración, una vaina todos los días, siendo un hipócrita ante mi creador, Solamente para agarrar view y una foto que no, porque el tipo realmente cree. Oh no, el tipo es buena persona, pero es mentira. A papá Dios no le gusta la gente tibia. Usted está con él, usted está con el diablo. Y el Estado y la iglesia no se mezclan. A César lo de César y a Dios lo que es de Dios. Un saludo a mi gente de la Fátima. Y la gente de la Asunción ahí. ¿Eh? Se van votando. No está llevando quien nos trajo aquí. Sigan votando ahí. Volvemos. Anyway, guys, listen. So I just, I just seen Dr. Dejo. Uh, Robert Dejo. Bob, right? Dr. Dejo, which, by the way, a couple of months, maybe last year I spoke about him. And, you know, his little, his little coffee. Yeah. Right. Change your coffee, sir. And, 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 and the, the positive imp impact that he had not only in my life, but also in my, in my twin sister's life too. 
and 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 the way that my mom respects him and 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 the values that he instilled in me and the admiration that I have for this gentleman and the respect when I think about a teacher cuz a teacher to me is the next thing after your father and mother so when I think about that, I think about a Dr. Dale. The guy used to t that 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 guy used to turn mad red every time he would get pissed off. Back when he used to rock the mustache and the jerry curls. I don't know if he still rocked that. And he held you accountable. He gave you tough love, but at the end of the day, I remember coming in 6:45, way before the period even started. And he would take time away from his precious time, which he wasn't paid for, to look after me, my sister, or any of my other classmates that had problems with the class, with the subject, or the chapter. And it didn't matter if you had a problem with uh, Ms. 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 Sanchez. I think her, her last name is Greater now. Or or Miss 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 Hickman. It didn't it didn't matter. Cause if he knew you got in pro in, in, into a problem, if he knew you ran your mouth, you had it coming. So for that I am thank you, Doctor Dale. Thank you for touching my life, as well as touching everybody that went through you. Ain't no fucking certificate on earth. Ain't no doctorates, ain't no masters, ain't no PhD, ain't no nothing that could ever amount to the gratitude that we, the people, that got to experience your teaching of abilities and you as a human being, as a role model, had. So thank you for the great experience, sir. So check this out. Having said all of this, people, we got to talk about the things that are happening. Damn, we're getting a little emotional. The thing is, uh, I wish we had a lot of Dr. Dayhills here. I wish we had a lot of Mr. Udanishes here. I wish I had a lot of Mr. Curry's here. I wish, shit, I wish I had a lot of Mrs. Barrios here. Anyway. So... <clears throat> This past week, we had accidents after accidents. We had another accident on Amboy Avenue. Right? Another accident on Amboy Avenue. And you don't hear about it unless I put it out. And I already had the pictures when it happened. But, you know, sometimes I want to give these guys the benefit of the doubt. But they never address the people. So taxation without representation. We got a sorry ass excuse of a public information officer. Hey, the same person, Pio 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 Pio, who actually last year during the 9-11 memorial, you know, the little bullshit post that she put out, inviting people from all over, she actually took 260 High Street, which is the city hall, and tr transferred the city hall to 260 Smith Street. But, you know, you don't hear about any of this. You don't hear about the Captain Kangaroo. Hey, by the way, we got a new nickname, people. We got a new nickname. Chris Joy. Chris Joy, how you doing? I forget about you, my boy. Uh, 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 uh. Hell no, we ain't going to forget about you. I don't need this. So we had that accident. Then we have another accident yesterday. Madison, if I'm not mistaken, it was a Madison and Smith Street. Now, there's a lot of people that like crossing the street when it's not their turn. There's a lot of people that like crossing the street looking at the phones. In other cities, if you cross the street looking at the phone, you get fined. They'll probably come out with that later on. Just remember where you got it from. And if they done, 
you best believe the next administration is going to do all of this. You understand me? But you ain't, you ain't hear the sorry excuse of a police director uh, expanding on all of this, right? All these accidents and shit. No, because it's, it's better for him to be uh, politic. And you know, he loves photo ops. And having said all of this, I heard that uh, the chairman at county level, Kevin McCabe, right, is supposed to do a fundraiser for for, for Helmut Kaaba, <coughs> right? It's funny how one of my sources said the following thing to me. That Hellman might be looking at being the county chair for the Democratic Party. And to all of this I say, listen, look at what he's done over here in Port Ambo with the, with the Democratic uh, organization. And imagine what he's going to do county level. So Kevin McKay, you better watch it. And after that, hey, he might damn near think he's going to be governor too. Oh, damn, Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon. He might take your job too. It don't matter. Hey, everything is possible here in La La Land. Why are people always speeding? Why are you always on your cell phone? There's always time to pilot it. Look, I'm going to give you a perfect example, right? There's this guy named Chris Joy. He's the lieutenant. He's a lieutenant. Chris Joy. Chris Joy, as I, as I mentioned before in a previous live, he wants uh, another. He wants Captain Kangaroo, better known as Lawrence Catano, the chief, the incompetent chief. Ain't got no fucking personal skills, no social skills. The, hey, he's part of that group with the HIPAA violations. You hear me? Do you hear me? Am I clear to speak on this? Am I clear? Oh, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Anyways. So he wants another captain's list. So word got to me last week that allegedly, I don't know if it was the secretary, I don't know, somebody needed a day off. And this guy, instead of worrying about the break-ins, because he's the head of the detective bureau, by the way, Instead of worrying about the breakings, got a letter converters, uh, homicides, all this plethora of bullshit that's going on here in the city, you know, he's more worried about being made captain. And on top of that, he even drove by, uh, I think it was the secretary, the secretary's house, to make sure she was there. And what has it that allegedly he called her because he didn't see her car there. Although she was inside the house because somebody somebody else took her car. I think she used a sick day or something. So listen, Mr. 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 Chris Joy. From now on, you will be known as Lieutenant Kangaroo. Cause all you do is kiss ass. And I guarantee you, hey, I'm gonna drop this gem. Make sure you make sure you guys, because I know you guys have a little chat room and your little part uh watch parties. I'm gonna give you the time frame right now. And now we're 55 minutes and 24 seconds. Hey, you ain't never going to make it to captain like this. As a matter of fact, you got more, you got a bigger, you got an even better shot of being made captain in this administration than the next administrations. And you could take that shit and put it on the Bible. The beard just told you. Big shout out to the other rat over there, the, the snitch, Beetlejuice. No neck Beetlejuice. How you doing, Eddie? Eddie, you want to clap on this one, Eddie? Keep clapping. Counting seagulls and shit with the other lazy one. Alisea. Hey, by the way, Andre Alisea did a hell of a job last week. But that still doesn't mean you ain't lazy shit. So keep clapping, Eddie. Anyway. Guys. This is what I'm telling you. It's about leadership. They got no leadership over here. You understand me? I want to send a shout out to the guy on Park Avenue. Keep blocking the, the sidewalk. Keep blocking the sidewalk. And I'm going to make you famous. You know who I'm talking about. And I like you. Trust me when I tell you I like you.
take this shit. Anyway. Yeah, ain't nobody above the law here. <sighs> let me end, let me end, let me end. You got... Helmut Kaba. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Because every time... All you got to do is... You go to the city's website. This is what you do. You want to know what's going on? Before I go on... You go to the city's website. Look. Join me. At Taco Express today to celebrate Mexico's Independence Day. Okay. Big shout outs to my Mexican uh, 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 family. I actually have fam a Mexican family. And to my uncle Padres and comadres around the world. All my Mexican people. I love you guys. But listen, Helmet. Don't nobody give a shit about... Not, not, not the Independence Day. About you being over there, Helmet. How about this? How about you say, people, join me. I am going to... Entertain all your calls. Hey, join me. I want to know what the city's doing. Join me. I want to tell you what happens with the homicides, with the stabbings, with the catalytic converters. Hey, join me. That that two point three million dollar uh, uh uh bullshit that Lawrence Catano trying to trying to bring over here. Like he, he, yo, my man. Hey, Lawrence, you think I don't know what you want to what you want to bring over here? I'm just not gonna say it. Trust me, brother. How about you do that? Oh, uh, Helmet, let's talk about a water meter, uh, Miss Condoleezza Rice, right? Let's talk about that, Helmet. Let's talk about the ADA uh, HIPAA violations, Helmet. Huh? Let's fucking talk about the carjackings. Let's talk about... Hold on a second. Nepotism, Helmet. Let's talk about the Titanic over here on the waterfront, Helmet. Let's talk about DPW, Helmet. Let's talk about all the lawsuits that are coming in. Helmet, how about this? How about you You join me in addressing the people, letting them know you're so full of shit, you'd rather pay all these freaking lawyers way more money, way more money for certain lawsuits than even the lawsuit is worth. How about that, Helmet? How about you come and join me, Helmet? Join me. Let's explain the pilots, Helmet. You're full of shit. That's why I'm going to fucking recall you. Anyway. Guys. Hey, you have a great night, man. I'm going to Spanish. Have a great night. Because you've been gone. And I'm sick. Helmet. Hey. Yeah, Helmet. I have a high ice fever. Can you hear me? Helmet. I'm sick. And I still show up, Helmet. No apps given, Helmet. How you doing? Anyway. Mi gente. A mi me gusta. Vamos a terminar en este plan. A mí lo que más me gusta de todo esto es que cuando tú quieres enterarte de lo que está sucediendo, antes que yo entre al live los domingos, tú siempre vas a ver que el incompetente del alcalde siempre pone un reguero de, de, de vaina. Hoy, hoy, se celebra, o más, más bien celebrando el, el, el 16 de septiembre, la independencia de México. Hoy, el señor Germín Cava, el primer americano en la historia, alcalde de la ciudad de Llanada Ceres, Bay San Boy, invitando a todo el mundo para, para, para compartir allá en, esa, en, ese, en ese restaurante de comida mexicana, por cierto, yo he comido ahí, um, porque lo de él todo es para fotos, todo es show. Entonces yo digo, Germín, invítanos, coño, a un live contigo. Ven, siéntate aquí. Yo te invito. Siéntate aquí para que tú le expliques a la gente cuáles son los pilotos que se han firmado aquí, que se aprobaron aquí bajo tu mala administración, la porquería de vaca administrativa tuya, el azaramiento, el saco de sal administrativo tuyo. ¿Por qué tú no agarras invita a la gente a que coño se quejen de toda la maldita porquería que está pasando aquí con los catalíticos? ¿Eh? ¿Eh? El robo de los catalíticos, ¿Eh? los apuñalamientos... Los accidentes. Aquí están chocando gente que tú no tienes madre. Helmin. ¿Eh? ¿Por qué tú no hablas de eso? ¿Por qué tú no hablas, por ejemplo, de la porquería del lambón ese? Del jefe de la policía. De los 2.3 millones de dólares. ¿Y de dónde lo iban a sacar? Que gracias a Dios por, por Pavón, por, por, por Patrick y por el otro, el, el marihuanero de, de BJ, no lo aprobaron. 
¿Por qué tú no hablas de eso? ¿Por qué tú no hablas, por ejemplo, del caso de, del contador del agua con Candalizo Rice? ¿Eh? ¿Por qué tú no hablas de las violaciones a los derechos laborales? ¿Eh? La violación, el HIPAA violation del capitán que tuvimos aquí el otro día. ¿Por qué tú no hablas de eso? ¿Por qué tú no hablas, por ejemplo, de que tú, coño, prefieres pagarle más a un abogado? Para que usted tenga un, un ejemplo, cuando una persona está demandando y ellos dicen, y los abogados se ponen de acuerdo y dicen, oye, 12 mil dólares. No, el mil prefiere pagarle 15 mil a uno de los abogados de él para que represente la ciudad. Es una teta rica para estar pegado ahí. ¿eh? Eso es lo que está sucediendo acá. Lo que pasa es que nosotros aquí, el lado oscuro de la ciudad acá, de este lado, donde pernoctan, donde vivimos nosotros los supervillanos, los malos de verdad, a nosotros nos importa un coño decirle las cosas. Helmin, óyeme, tú te enfermes, tú de una vez... Por cierto, siempre es una vacación es media rara, el otro día una vacación, no sé qué fue lo que pasó. Germán, yo te prendí en fiebre ahora mismo. Tú me escuchas la voz, Germán. Germán, a mí nadie me paga por hacer esto. Todo esto es a costilla récord, papi. Bolsillo boutique. ¿Eh? Buen incompetente, coño, inepto. Mira lo que está pasando con, lo, con los estudiantes aquí. En ningún momento, coño, se ha pronunciado. Hey, por cierto, mira, para que tú tengas una idea. Y esto yo lo digo sin faltarle respeto a su familia. Germín, uno de los niños de Germín, va a la escuela número 7. Adivina cuánta seguridad hay ahí en la escuela número 7. Un solo seguridad, una señora en la seguridad. Y cuando el administrador que puso aquí, ganando 143, como 180, ¿eh? Usó de subterfugio, ¿eh? de excusa, de justificación, la violación a los derechos laborales de Miguel Ángel Peyo Jr., ex capitán de la policía, la masacre, coño, ahí en Texas, por un maldito que acabó con la vida de los niños. Papi, pero por lo menos enseña la cara, porque ahí va tu hijo. Yo la estoy enseñando y, el, y los míos no van ahí. No da la cara ni, 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 ni por los asistentes de los maestros, no da la cara por los maestros, por los custodios, no da la cara por nadie. Y estas es son la gente que ustedes quieren. O lo grande del caso es que no hay una cosa a lo que yo le tengo fobia como a la ignorancia, señores. ¿Sabe, ¿Sabe quién me da miedo a mí? Una persona que me diga que siga Germen. Esa vaina me da miedo a mí. Oye, porque si Germín no sabe dónde está para mucho menos el que lo sigue. ¿Tú, tú te estás dando cuenta? So, guys, voy a jorar a second. I thought I was gone. Well, listen, I just remember something. Demo un segundo. I just remember something. This is Helmet. And my respect to his family. Right? But look. Helmet, one of his kids, goes to number seven school. How many security guards you got in number seven school? He got one. One female security guard. That's crazy. And this helmet is the same guy that brought in the business, the incompetent business administrator, the HIPAA violator, right? The ADA violator, uh, uh, Mike Green, Michael Green, who used the massacre in Uvalde as a pretext to justify him violating Captain Pellet's HIPAA rights. So, someone went in, shut up the whole school. So, uh, that can't happen over here at number seven school. God, God willing. God forbid, I'm sorry. Should never happen. But you don't even speak on behalf of that school. You don't even talk to, hey, but it's okay, man. It's okay. I know I know you're a sorry excuse of a, of a politician. So, big shout out to the, to the county Democrats. This is what you got over here as the, as the Democratic chair over here. How you doing? Everybody out there in the, in the Democratic Social Club that, that Hellman built. I am just like Pertan, boy. I am nonpartisan. You understand me? But this is, this is the only thing that I really fear, that I have a phobia of. I fear ignorance. But if you really want to know what puts the fear of God in me, when I hear somebody 
talk about how Hellman is such a great mayor. How Hellman is so knowledgeable. Now that shit is some scary stuff. I'll see you next Sunday. Mi gente, ya como siempre, gracias. Hey, thank you for the stars. If you can, share this live. Send the stars. This is how we're going to go get an even bigger studio, professional equipment, state of the art, everything. Because it's self-funded. That's why I, hey, why you think I can speak like this? <laughs> how you doing? Damn, huh? Oh, I forgot about Chris Jordan Spanish. So I'll see you next week. Mi gente, entonces ya para terminar... Hay un teniente llamado Chris Joy, quien pasa y acontece que es el jefe del buró de detectives del departamento de la policía aquí. El tipo está más preocupado lambiendo al jefe de la policía, que a la misma vez es el amor principal de, 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 del incompetente del alcalde, para que se dé otra lista de capitanes o capitanes para el poder. Tú me entiendes, ser uno de los escogidos. Pero él siendo el jerarca de ese buró de detectives acá. Es más importante una promoción a capitán. Damn, I just remember uh, Canamelo. <laughs> Ricky Zaleski, hold on a second. Eh, en vez de preocuparse por los catalíticos, por los robos, los apuñalamientos, por todo lo que está pasando aquí, no... Él, 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 él mejor se preocupa por la secretaria. Entonces, si así como nosotros decimos, Capitán Canguro, al jefe de la policía, este va a ser el Teniente Canguro. Porque el pan es una copia, una réplica del jefe de la policía. How you doing, Chrissy Chris? No, let's give him a boy. So... Qué chulo es, eh, señores. Ahí se, hay un capitán retirado también. Bueno, que eso está muy raro ahí. Acting captain, retired, act, acting captain, uh, Paul Canamela. Putting in for, for a special position. Retired sergeant, Ricky Zaleski, putting in for a special position in the department and getting hired. But yeah, they want to they wanna deplete the DPW and, 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 and the administration. They want to take all the other employees. Entonces... Usted está viendo esa parafernalia que sacaron este, esta semana, que supuestamente la policía está tratando de incentivar a los, a los empleados de la, de, la, de la ciudad acá a unirse, a ser oficiales. Pero mira, ahí hubo uno que, que se retiró hace como dos años, capitán. Hay otro que se retiró hace un año, capitán también. Y pusieron para, para una posición como Special, Special Tools, Especial 2. ¿Y por qué a ellos entonces no le dan el trabajo? El domingo vamos a hablar de eso. Pásenla bien y no miren a quién, pórtese mal, y recuerden que Papá Dios siempre está mirando. And like always, people, hey, we've been here. Jelly, ben, ben, hey, jelly, ben, ben, gone.